transport safety and actually vote for this bill. Madam Speaker. I call the Honourable Lees Galloway. Ian Lees Galloway. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Um, Sorry. I have a first name. Thank you. Um, Madam Speaker, that was a, an interesting call from the member, Jamie Lee Ross. The, the member, interestingly, I, I, when one picks up the bill off the table, the member in whose name this bill is, uh, which is interesting. I understand that the bill was actually drawn from the ballot in the name of the member, Jamie Lee Ross, and he subsequently transferred it to Alistair Scott, perhaps in an effort to give Mr Scott something to do. I, d I don't know. Um, I, predict, I predict that this bill will fail in the same way I predict Mr Scott is likely to fail at the next election as well. But anyway, I thank Mr Ross for contributing to the debate as he appears to be the author of this piece of legislation. I'd make a second observation, Madam Speaker. And that is that uh, if this was a simple matter to address, I am quite certain that the previous government would have addressed it in its nine long years in government. Everybody knows, everybody knows that the National Party is more conservative on these issues and had it the opportunity to legislate, to introduce a comprehensive and effective form of roadside oral testing, or any other form of testing for that matter, for, for people driving under the influence of the drugs listed in this legislation, it would have done so. It would have. I have, I have that much faith. I don't have a huge amount of faith in the National Party, but I have sufficient faith to believe that had there been a regime that could stand up to scrutiny, that could be introduced by this parliament or by a government, that the National Party in government would have done so. They didn't, because there is no such regime. And the technology has not changed over the last 10 months sufficiently for this parliament to confidently introduce such a regime. And I know that the member in charge of this bill, whether it be Jamie Lee Ross or whether it be Alistair Scott, knows that, and that the National Party is simply attempting to play politics with this, mem this, with this matter. Now, members will know, members will know, members who have been in this House for as long as I have, will know that I am a progressive on, on drug law matters. I do not believe that prohibition works. It doesn't work for alcohol and it doesn't work for a range of other drugs. But members will also know this, that I have no truck with anybody who drives under the influence of a mind-altering substance. I introduced a member's bill to reduce the drink driving limit. Shortly after that, the national, national government introduced a bill to do the same thing. That's a good thing. This parliament legislated to reduce the alcohol limit for driving, and that was a good thing. Likewise, I have no time for anyone who drives under the influence, knowingly drives under the influence of cannabis, MDMA, methamphetamine, or any other drug for that matter. And if we had a simple solution for testing for those things, I would support that, and this government would support that. But at the moment, there is no test which stands up to any scrutiny. And I know that the member in charge of this bill knows that. And this is not a matter that ought to be dealt with piecemeal through a member's bill. This is a matter that this government takes seriously. Now let's look at the situation that this government inherited. A rising death toll on the road. For decades, the road toll was falling. Under the previous government, the road toll began to rise again. That is a sad indictment of that government's approach to road safety. And it is something that this government is absolutely committed to reversing. I know that Stuart Nash and Julianne Genta take the road death toll seriously, and they're doing everything in their power to reverse the detrimental trend that developed 
under that previous government. So, sir, we oppose this bill, but we oppose it because we believe in evidence based policy and we believe in reducing the Members road toll, and this government expired. will take every measure it can to do that. I call Derek Thank you, Madam Speaker. I'm 